Hey everybody, Barney Black here, running with MS, nearly forgot my YouTube channel title, running with MS for Brain Tumor Research, that's the gig. Um, and it's about time I gave a little bit of an update on where we are, I've got a big run in four weeks time, and so what's been going on in, in the, the days gone by? Well, at the weekend, just gone, I was lucky enough to be able to get down and see Liam and his other half gen. And um, had a great night on Friday night. We went for a curry, had a good catch up. And then on the Saturday, we did a bit of a sponsored walk, which was 11 miles from, I'm going to say, Bollington, Bollington to Macclesfield. Um, if you were on the walk and you can correct me on the, the route that we took, that'd be fabulous. Um, I met some of Liam's friends, which were great company, Estelle, David and Phil. Um, and that was a great day out. It was a really great day. The weather was fabulous. It was perfect for walking um, a 11 and a half, 12 mile route. And I saw some of Cheshire, which I had never experienced before, which was beautiful countryside. And we climbed a, a small hill, which had a um, a sculpture, I think it's the best way to describe it, on top called White Nancy, which I had to do a little bit of research about. White Nancy was built in the 1800s, and I believe it commemorates the Battle of Waterloo. It's a great big white dome thing with a, a black um, thing stuck on top. Looks like a bit of a nipple to me. Um, but... <laughs> I'm sure that's not been lost on other people that have viewed it from afar. I'll share a picture with it somewhere in this clip. Um, on the Friday, on the Thursday or Friday, Liam was at his doctor's and was given pretty bad news. I don't think pretty bad news actually is strong enough. He got shite news to confirm that his brain tumour um, is, 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 has returned, I think. Um, and there is nothing else that can be done to, to help Liam. And he literally is now on time that is running out. Um, Liam being Liam is fairly open, direct, bold, tenacious about all of that. And he very quickly put his last blog out. He called it his last blog, which I'll share a link on the, the notes for this um, video, um, which you can see at the end. Um, and it's just, just shy news that the, 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 the tumour eventually will kill him and um, that's crap for Liam and crap for his family and friends which um, there's not an awful lot I can say about that to give it any real context it's, it's just, just a shite state of affairs um, if you've seen previous videos of mine you'll know that brain tumour research um, and brain tumour uh, cancer research of all the cancer money that's raised only 1% of those funds goes towards brain tumour research. It's a complicated thing, but it needs more money, needs more support um, to help drive towards cures and, and ways of treating it. It's the biggest killer for um, young people and those under 45 as well, I think, of all the cancers. Um, so, yeah, that, that's, that's pretty shit. Anyway, the, the weekend with, with Liam was great. He, he took part in the Bollington... Um, Macclesfield walk. He gave a, a, a very eloquent speech, as he is renowned for. Um, although when we were having a, a bite to eat at the end of the day, just recalling the, the day's events, um, one of Liam's daughters said, Dad's always making speeches. <laughs> um, so um, it was good to see a bit of humour around such difficult times. Um, since then, I got home on Sunday. My training for the Catran Trail, which is coming up in four weeks' time, second weekend in May. Um, again, if you've seen previous videos, you'll know that I'm about four weeks behind the training that I would like to be at because of um, just trying to manage my knee. And I feel okay. I feel I feel strong. Um, I know I'm going to be needing to maximise the whole time that's available to me on the route. It's a 15 hour cutoff, it's 55 miles, and it's got some serious elevation. Um, but just forward momentum, I'm just going to have to keep going with that. Um, I've done two parts of the route as part of my recce. I was um, the Blair Gowdy to Cali Bridge last weekend, and on Monday night with a good friend, Frank McGaffney, we did 
from Enoch Du to the Spittle of Glen Shee, which was um, 12 miles and about two and a half thousand feet of elevation, which wasn't too shabby for a Monday night. Um, so I think that's it. Um, I'll, I'll share notes about um, Liam has just giving page. Liam has um, raised over £40,000 in his time in the last couple of years, two and a half years, um, three years actually, since his um, diagnosis with, with the brain tumour. And um, I've also shared my page as well. I'm looking to raise um, £1,500 or as close to that as I can with the events that I'm doing this year with the Cataran Trail and a few other events later on. So you'll see more of these videos if you choose to follow me and uh, uh, click on the notifications and the subscription buttons on this YouTube thing somewhere. So thank you for watching. What you're going to see now is just some photographs and a couple of video clips of the, the last uh, few days. Thanks for watching. Peace. The run Frank says. This is what? This is Monday the 17th of April? 16th of April? 17th of April? So Frank and I, there he is, are going to be going up that road to the Spittle of Glen Shee. It's about six and a half miles from here. Six-ish, yeah. 2,000 feet of climbing. <laughs> <That's all. laughs> Just for the crack on a Monday night. <laughs> so uh, it's, uh, it's half past five, so we should be back here by eight o'clock at the latest. Fingers crossed it'll all go well. Uh, it's a good recce. Frank's actually going to be supporting on the Cataran Trail in May while I drag my sorry arse around it. All for Ben Tumor Research and Liam Bergen. See you at the end. Here we are on the Cataran Trail, heading back to... Where's our starting point, Frank? Enoch Du. Enoch Du. I was going to say Enoch and Andrew. That was a awesome gag for our older listeners. It's been a great yomp. Oh, we've got a couple of miles, I guess, now, eh? Two and a half.